Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hespi family taste test. Today we have a lot of things to try and most of it is actually warm food today, which is really exciting. Yeah. Um, lots of really interesting items and I'm just ready to dig in. So let's go ahead and get started with this Trader Joe's taste test. So we are gonna be trying some of the hot foods first. Um, I think you, I mean, I don't know. It's really hard to say which things we should try first. I think we should honestly try this weird butter. Okay. This brown butter. Totally, yeah. Um, so yeah, the... Trader Joe's has this new brown butter, which honestly looks like it's got seeds. And yeah, or vanilla bean vanilla or, something. Bean or something. So let's give it a go and see how it tastes. Go ahead. The only thing in here is butter, just pasteurized cream and natural flavors. Yeah. So very weird, but give it a try. That's, that's butter, honey. Okay, right off the bat, I already know what this tastes like. Exactly. Um. Um. Auntie Anne's pretzel butter. Interesting. Totally. This is like Auntie oh. Anne's pretzel butter from, it tastes exactly like it. It's so deceptive though, because like, it looks like something completely different. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like bite into this and expect the flavor of butter. Yeah. Like, I thought for sure this was gonna be more nutty or something along those lines, but. It is kind of nutty though. A little bit. Yeah, it has a hint of nuttiness. It's a like. Hint, yeah. It's interesting, but I really like it. Yeah, I personally like it, I think it's good. Yeah, it's much better than I was expecting. Yeah. I was I was a little bit worried I took a smaller <laughs> bite than I would normally take. Um, but yeah, I think um, we'd probably find some interesting recipes that would utilize that butter pretty well too. I agree, um, and I think too, it just it's a very like subtle hint it's very light so it's almost like you it like dances around your tongue it's like where's the flavor is it there is it not there like but you can taste it but you can't you know what i mean like it's just it's an elusive butter that's yeah. what it is yeah. <laughs> um but really delicious nonetheless so i i like it what about you babe what do you like do you like it uh-huh yeah but i think i remember this taste too oh you do it's it's Tastes like the bundle that was at the hotel and we went to. Really? Oh, okay. okay. I, I can see that, yeah. Yeah. All right, babe. Well, good job. Okay, next up, we are going to try, let's go for the noodles. So there's the new yep. matcha green tea Japanese noodles. These are yeah. so intriguing to me because I love matcha. Like, I love drinking matcha. Um, I've never thought about having it in a noodle form. So I'm very yeah. intrigued by this. So I cooked it up um, as I normally would on a, the stove top. And I just added a tiny little bit of the sesame oil and a little bit of the umami seasoning. I did warn Tim, so he's gonna try it with, um, you know, an open mind. But he's, <laughs> I, I mean, I really don't think it tastes like mushroom. It's just very salty and it gives it a good flavor. So we're gonna try the noodles. Okay, really? Well, I mean, do you you want to go first? No, I mean, I don't know how much I have to contribute. I honestly just taste the umami. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't taste the matcha and that I mean, it's, noodle? it's a little bit earthy. That's the matcha, right? Yeah, it yeah. has like kind of almost like a bitter aftertaste. A little yeah, bit. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you taste uh, the umami more than anything? You're, that's, I, I mean, put yeah. hardly any, just a tiny little sprinkle of that. Well, it's, a, you it's taste the sesame the, oil it's probably, maybe? I taste the sesame oil yeah. for sure. Um, but I feel like it kind of like enhanced the flavor of the umami because it like yeah. dissipated across the whole thing or something. I, I feel like the sesame oil definitely complemented the matcha. Um, the umami gives it a little bit more of a flavor to it, but I think the matcha noodle it definitely, it tastes like a normal noodle when you first taste it. It's like, oh, okay, I'm having normal noodles. And then the aftertaste is where you taste the matcha, but it has like that bitterness, earthiness to it. Um, very interesting. One thing I will say, the texture of these noodles are fire. I love this texture. <laughs> like it's kind of al dente and it's not like too chewy. It's like the perfect consistency. Um, I don't know if I necessarily like gravitate to buying these again, just because of that matcha flavor, it totally throws me off, but I can see where they're going with this product. And I think if you um, have an open mind to it, you might want to just try it for yourself and see if you like it. Yeah, yeah that's fair. So what are your thoughts? Mm. Mm. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm. Mm. 
You do like it? Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Is it good? Mm hmm Yeah? Awesome. That's good. That's a win. My toddler likes the matcha noodles, so thumbs up for that one. Okay, so I think it's time to go to the jackfruit. So we okay. have two different types of jackfruit we're gonna try. We have the smoky barbecue sauce jackfruit. We also have the jackfruit and cashew tikka masala. Um, both sound amazing on their own together, not so much, but <laughs> let's try, uh, I think the barbecue, ugh, it's hard to say which one's gonna be more overpowering in I flavor. I feel like barbecue, it's smoky barbecue, so that's gonna probably be more of the powerful flavor. So okay. let's do the, the, the uh, Indian fare, chicken. jackfruit and cashew <laughs> chicken masala. Okay, sounds good. So that one is the lighter color one. Okay. Um, and these are really easy to heat. They're just these like little bags that you just tear open and put in the microwave for only one minute. I did a minute 15 because we let it sit here for a while, so I wanted it to be warm, but let's try it. It's like butter. Like yeah, it, it just, just melts in your mouth. It really did. Um, jackfruit is such an interesting fruit because it really does have the texture of like a meat or like a pulled pork. Yeah. Um, and then the flavor is, um, it is definitely an Indian, Indian dish because it has that like tikka masala um, flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I tend to estimate that I'm gonna like this one more than the, the smoky barbecue sauce one, to be Okay, that's fair. I mean, I think it's actually pretty spicy. It is. Um, it has like a good kick to it. Um, I've had better, to be honest, like tikka masala before. I think the flavor here, it's good. Um, we love tikka masala in this house, so we're kind of snobby when it comes to that. <laughs> uh, and I just, I think I've had better flavored tikka masala before. So that's all, that's my opinion on that. The jackfruit is, like Tim said, really soft. It almost just kind of like disintegrates on your tongue as you're eating it. So it's not much of a texture. It's kind of, um, just kind of like a mushy texture. So you definitely want something like rice or something to mix with it because I think on its own, it's just a little, it's like, you know, it's baby food, really. I agree. I echo your, uh, your sentiment about the masala not being the best ever. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Yeah, I think, or we could even add chickpeas to it. And that would probably like be really good too and give it a little bit more of a texture, so. Perhaps. All right, moving on to the barbecue one. Interesting. The yeah. jackfruit holds up a lot better in the yeah. barbecue one. Much thicker. Mm -hmm. um, it tastes sweet. Is it a sweetness? Or is that just maybe mm -hmm. the jackfruit? Because I got a really thick bite of jackfruit. I do too. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, it is really like, I, I bet you could really take this and put this between bread and make a pretty solid uh, jackfruit pulled pork um, you know, alternative sandwich. Uh, and it'd probably be pretty good. On its own, I'm like, I'm on the fence on it. That is, it's got a sweetness to it, um, which I'm like, not really about. So I think the flavor is really, like you said, it, this one definitely has a punch to it. It yeah. also has a little bit of a spicy kick. Um, it is very flavorful. I can definitely see this being a really good, like, pulled pork sandwich. Uh, I don't really taste the sweetness per se, but I feel like it has a really balanced, well-balanced flavor to it. The jackfruit is much chunkier and thicker than that of the um, masala that we just had. Sure. So I, I feel like I almost would want to shred it a little bit more because these look like they're in cubes. So shredding it maybe a little bit more would give it more of that pulled pork texture. Um, but all said and done, like the flavor is there and like Tim said, between two buns and it would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> now moving on to Tim's favorite portion of the video. We're gonna have some pickles. There's two new pickles to try this week. And I asked Tim beforehand off camera if he wanted to try the pickles because I'm not forcing him, you guys. It's totally his, his choice and he said he wants to do it for your entertainment. So. I let's... choose to do it. Let's not let's not say I want to do it. Well, but you're choosing on I, your own. I am choosing this. on my own to eat it, eat something I don't like so that you guys can laugh at me <laughs> and my reactions. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start with the kosher dill pickle spears. Okay. These look good. Vincent, there's yours. No. <laughs> it's delicious. I love how crunchy this is. Oh. 
It's so salty and mm. uh, just no, thank you. No, thank really? You. Yeah, no, thank you. I like uh, these. These are really you. good. You don't like it either. You don't like the pickle. Uh, <laughs> uh, You're silly. That's my boy. That pickle is it like the pickle online. Mm, okay. That's the other times. Oh, I don't know. They taste kind of that. Okay. Benson does eat pickles, so I'm surprised he didn't like that, but like Tim said, nice. really salty. Um, the brine is like really vinegary too, which yeah. I really like. Okay. Um, it's super crunchy. I need crunch in my pickles, otherwise I'm not even gonna bother with them. So uh, definitely an A plus in my book. These are so good. And they're refrigerated, so if you're looking for them, they're in the refrigerated section at Trader Joe's as is the new kosher spicy bread and butter pickle chips and that's what we're gonna try right now we're, we don't have one for benson because i don't know how spicy they are so we're gonna give these a go oh. <clears throat> mm. i'm not like a big uh butter pickle chip person but i think it tastes good <laughs> I think um, that <laughs> that one's better than the other one. Yeah, because that has a flavor. Yeah, it's, it's not very spicy though. I was expecting it to be a little more spicy. It's not. It doesn't have much spice to it. What do you think? No, I don't think it's spicy at all. <laughs> Are you sweating? I just don't like the flavor of it. <laughs> um, they're pickles. Um, I knew that I wasn't gonna like them, so it's no surprise. Uh, but those ones have less of that like pickly flavor yeah it's uh, a butter chip so yeah I, I don't know what that means but i mean they're really good with cheese and crackers i love putting like um bread and butter pickle chips on like a cracker with some cheese it's such a good combo so that's when i the only time i really like them i will not eat them straight out of a jar like that though um, and neither will Tim. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for the foods. Now we're going to go on to the sweets. There's only one this week, and it is the Fruity Gummy Candies. These have some amazing flavors. There's pineapple, mango, grapefruit, watermelon, and blueberry. So let's dig into these and see which one tastes the best. Because we're not going to taste just one, you know. Right, Vincent? Yeah. Okay, you gotta pick three. Pick three different colors. Pick different colors. All right, we're all trying some different flavors. I'm gonna start with blueberry. Okay, I'll do it with you. Oh, these are really chewy. Oh, mm. no. Yeah, they are. You gotta have strong teeth for these guys. These are definitely mm. chewy. They pull, you fill, pull your filling out. Mm. <laughs> blueberry doesn't have much of a flavor. Oh, that was pretty good though. I it's mean, good, but subtle. It's real, yeah, it's light. I'm gonna go on to the watermelon. I'll try mango. Watermelon's pretty good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Man, these are chewy. Yeah. I'm gonna have to brush my teeth. <laughs> mango. Mango's good. What'd you think, dude? I got it. I, I got it out. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I got it. How did it taste? A super sticky. Um, <laughs> that one is the same as the other one. Two. Mm -hmm. I need two this right now. Two. Okay, go ahead and chew it. My two cents is go for the bag that has more of the yellow ones because there's a pineapple. Pineapple, mm -hmm. in my opinion, was the best that I tried. Um, really yummy fruit. Like, I love that. It's vegetarian, so I can enjoy it. Super sticky, super chewy. So, you know, just be prepared for that. If you're not into, like, having things stuck in your teeth or you just don't want to be chewing something for what feels like a minute straight, then don't go for these, but um, they, the yeah, flavors are really too. there and they're really good, so. Yeah, I thought watermelon. I don't think you tried that one, but I thought I that one was pretty good too. Yeah. The, all in all, they're really great uh, little fruit snacks um, and they're sticky, of course, like we've said like a hundred times, but um, the, the, the sweetness, it's, it's subtle. It's a nice little subtle thing where you don't get like that really um, sugary mouth, like I to, like to call it, but um, I like these. These are a nice little snack. Yeah, I totally agree. So if you're in the market, these are kind of like a summery thing. Um, and I'm I'm thinking they might be seasonal because there's a couple other gummies in the works coming out soon, maybe this next week. Um, some really interesting looking gummies actually. So I'm thinking they're just kind of like rolling out some of the summer fun like treats and sweets. So 
stay tuned for those. But uh, again, another excellent taste test, lots of different flavors, a variety of product. Trader Joe's obviously has just been like amping up their new items every week. I feel like they're just bringing out more and more and awesome. more. So if you guys really like seeing all the new products, I would love for you to join my channel. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the no notifications so you're not missing out on all the new products because as you know at Trader Joe's, once they come out, they come out for like a week and then they're gone, they disappear, and then you have to wait a little bit longer for them to come back, and sometimes they never do. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. We had so much fun as always, and... Give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.